standing to receive the right wish of the Lord Mayor of Liverpool, Councillor Christine Harris.
Both from the same backgrounds, the same people who we will. We all share the same beliefs and principles. And it's these beliefs and principles that make shadows over the social and passive loss to the Shinga in residence and the city. In any part, I would want shadow to Peter and Chris. Thank you to the residents of Zaki. It's to me very much. I also want to acknowledge the way of Jan and Alison from the New Orleans. They were so funny, not as ever she was sure, and they were one of the new things. <laughs> Last but not least, I want to thank
Phil Jones. Thank you, Lord Mayor. I'm delighted to serve with one council of the present term, two colleagues of the land. This place is a long term little dead count, little dead counselor, no friend, a piece of love. It came about the previous year after being introduced to Ray Anderson by my colleague union work colleague, Councillor Dorian Knight, in the Thomas Hotel in town, the day after the re-election for which I had canvassed. Mayor Anderson and I spoke for some time that afternoon, and we were both interested in my background, and we served as a shop student for over 20 years, and being a lifelong socialist and a member of the Labour Party. He also inquired as to why I never considered the time in the council. I replied that I was too old. He rubbish the idea and asked me to think about it. A couple of weeks went by when I received a phone call from Joe asking me that thought about the idea. And Joe being with Joe talked for a long time before asking me where I would really consider standing if I was to stand. I replied that I would stand for the president as I thought I had a good chance of winning due to knowing there were many people in the area. And of course, by the end of the conversation, we talked into the fighting for the street. I'm grateful that Mayor Anderson brought me into Sandwich because the last eight years have been the most amazing experience as a person. Despite the joy cuts to the city budget, we built new homes, new schools, protected our children's services, and I could go for ages about the fabulous changes to our great city, due in no small part to a great leader. Thank you, Joe. I'm proud to come from Liverpool. I'm proud to have played a small part in helping us maintain those essential services. Long may it continue. I wish to thank everyone in the chamber tonight for giving their services to the city, not just those councillors, but the council staff who have been my gifts and job helping us all. I especially want to thank my board colleagues, Lily Hay and Trish O'Brien, and not forget my old friend, Mary Aspinall, for their outstanding work at Cleston. I look forward now to spending more time with my family, my wife Ivy, my eight tattoo, and my new friend tattoo. Thank you all. And you know what? 
There have always been brilliant. Uh, some have been around uh, about as long as loud. And uh, they always got that extra mile. And, and you couldn't do this job without uh, the support uh, that you get from them. Most importantly, I'd like to thank the uh, people of Norwich Green who supported Labour through uh, good times and, um, and bad times. I've made some uh, great friends, uh, including obviously um, Barry and, uh, and uh, Sharon. And I'm continually amazed uh, in Norwich Green about the um, the the um, the community spirit that uh, exists for the one end of the world. It never amazes me about the number of community groups and church groups and partners and, and other youth uh, groups and everybody and, and, and uh, the amount that uh, you know people people do get involved in their in, in their community. Uh, Norwich Green uh, has, has, has been transformed uh, in the last um, um, 10, 15 um, years. And I, I like to think that uh, I played I played it well in that. Um, last but not least, I'd like to uh, thank uh, members of the uh, City Council, uh, particularly um, members of the Labour Group. As we can see from uh, the agenda, we continue to face uh, unprecedented uh, uh, budget cuts going forward. Uh, but I'm, I'm confident that uh, the Labour Group uh, can change the, uh, the ability and the political policies to um, keep this great city of ours, uh, my adopted city, keep this great city of ours um, going forward um, with the right policy, the right approach, while at the same time uh, protecting the most vulnerable. Thank you all that. Thank you very much.
the lower breath row of the abdomen to be a description of the user of the sound meetings. Whilst we have in different political traditions, that hasn't made any one iota of difference. We've worked together to support and build support the social community centre and youth work in the area, and I've had total cooperation with Kirsty from Adele and her partners, Brian and Ian. And I would like to give traction to that because that's what the council should be doing. The community first, about politics, be able to talk to people in all those ways. And I will miss you as a friend, and you will always be welcome in our house. If you're very fast in our centre, please come and be our guest. Um, like I say, Club Law is also important. Uh, again, we honest, we've had a few frosty moments, we've had a political uh, differences in campaign against each other, but we've done it in good courtesy. And we're now going to have the real difficulty of. Um, Trying to respond to the local community centres. Um, I think it really says something about the, the, the stature and the gravity of the person. Actually, helps us revert to some of the residents so they can carry on activities at the home centre. Our political traditions, if it didn't make any difference, we were there for looking after the residents. And I think she did an absolutely fantastic job and a lot of personal commitment to run the community centre because I've been treated up to the size of the ones we've got them all and I know how hard we do. So I'd like to say that thank, thank, thank you, as a friend of the Diary, for your service to the Council. I know we've had our differences on the planning committee, but such is life, why shouldn't we? Um, we'll be done with good humour and want to do uh, first moments. But I think that says something about how the Council should behave. So, as one of your neighbours, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> if I can just I know Central is far away from us, but I know. Sharon and I have got mutual interest with the Dean and we talked about the few steps and how our friends at Kensington Fields have got a lot of experts in Fields. I'm not going to be going to these sections, it's not my party in the best sense, in all sense of the word. But I know on the licensing committee we've dealt some difficult issues of better gay community and your heart's already there in the right place, but also because people are going to promise you. You've been a tribute to the council. Uh, that's no respect to the council mentioned, but I think sometimes things have to be said. And things when everybody be ready to counsellors, I think it's so easy to not counsellors. I think it's important we sometimes say the best that brings us together. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, uh, uh, like Councillor Arthur, it's not my job to talk about why people are leaving this chamber, but to comment on what they've done while they were here. But one thing particularly struck the court. Councillor Sullivan, when she said being councillor isn't all about flag waving. And that's absolutely true. It's true for every single person who serves in this chamber. A lot of people out there think it's very easy to be a councillor. You pop up to a meeting like this, you don't really shout it, perhaps. I have done some of that myself, and some of the people who are leaving today have shouted at me occasionally in the theatre council chamber, that's what happens. What they don't see is that in the select committees and in the wards and in the other places we've done area committees, neighbourhood committees, occasional meetings about particular issues, you find it very difficult to work out agreements on which party. Because whether you're Labour, Lib Dem or whatever, running through you is one word, like a stick of the lap mark, but it says Liverpool. Because everyone here is here to fight for our city. We occasionally have different views on that, but I don't doubt the integrity of anyone who is in this council chamber. So I have no hesitation in thanking those retiring councillors, including, as uh, Mayor Anderson says, those who are not here today, for all the work you do. Some of those people were our councillors as I was before you actually got paid for being here at all. We used to get a tenner a day, and that didn't even go very far when we used to earn it. Even now, a basic councillor's allowance is not exactly the cornucopia of riches. We don't do it for money, we'd be stupid to do it for money. We do it because we believe in Liverpool. That is something we all share, and that is something I celebrate by thanking those people who will be leaving this chamber on Saturday. Thank you, Madam Chair.
Well, no, just to echo the sentiments that have already been expressed, um, I think it's absolutely right that we recognise people who have served for so long for the council. Whatever your political background, um, you don't get to do that for how many years you get through so many elections without putting a lot of work in and uh, get to know a lot of people in the world. So, um, yeah, thanks to all those who are on retirement, thank you for their service and uh, good luck. Lord Mayor, can I remind members that you are only required to declare at meetings and to disclose all pecuniary or financial interests, in which case the member will need to leave the chamber during consideration of the item. Can I also remind members of the content of letters which have been circulated to you related to the budget meeting? Specifically, if an amount due in respect of your council tax has not been paid for at least two months after it became payable, then you should not vote on any matter concerning a calculation relating to setting of council tax, precepts or limitation of council tax and precepts, any recommendation, resolution or other decision which might affect the making of such calculation and administration or enforcement matters in relation to council tax. Are there any such declarations? Uh, minutes of the last meeting. Other minutes of the City Council meeting held on the 16th of January 2019 agreed. Sorry, not there. Sorry, I've just been going around here and I have an interest in budget in relation to my employment because of the police and crime commissioners precept. <coughs> And do I see the vote? Thank you. 